spent more than $14.5 billion on aesthetic procedures last year alone. That includes things like liposuction, facial fillers, and hair replacement. And with so much demand, supply for these services has stretched across the border. It's called medical tourism, but some say it's closer to Russian roulette. <laughs> Look for a slender girl. Why? I, I couldn't even tell you why. Films like this one, America the Beautiful, showcase the battle between reality and what you see online or in magazines. We're not going to put someone ugly on our cover. It's not going to sell. According to the American Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery, in 2020, the United States registered the highest number of cosmetic procedures worldwide, with nearly 4 million operations. For surgical and non-surgical procedures, the number tripled from 1997, with 1.6 million procedures, to over 5.5 million in 2020. You truly see people in all walks of life. So you can see a younger person, for example, a rhinoplasty that really affects their self-esteem. Um, they might be in their early 20s. Uh, and then you have a, a large contingent of moms who have had children and their bodies, especially their breasts and their abdominal area, are just not where they, they would like it to be. Uh, and then you have men. Men have uh, pressures of society as well. Sometimes they're forgotten about, but you have professional men who want to look their best. Uh, people who are competing in the workplace against people who are maybe slightly younger. They want to put their best face forward. This has sparked a growing number of cosmetic surgery centers south of the border. Right now, there are more than 200 clinics and hospitals offering cosmetic procedures in Tijuana. The biggest difference is cost. First of all, the cost of living is less. The labor costs are less. Doctors pay a lot less for medical malpractice insurance than they do in this country. And the safety requirements just aren't often as stringent as here. So there's going to be a difference. The Secretary of Health for Baja, Jose Adrian Medina Amarillas, says his office has received dozens of complaints about shady operations. This led to shutting down multiple facilities. However, reports online also say that office staff would just remove the seals on the doors and then resume operations. Some of these complaints included doctors not having medical licenses, instead only being licensed in veterinary care. Last month alone, two women died from complications related to cosmetic surgery in Tijuana. Both were in their late 30s. Dr. Kim says she knows firsthand about these improperly done surgeries having life-ending consequences. I have been called on numerous occasions to the local hospitals to consult on people who were operated on, it happens to be across the border, they were brought back to their local area in severe medical distress. And a lot of times, um, you know, sometimes we're, we're pretty, pretty limited in what we can do in those situations. It was too late at that point and uh, that patient did pass away. Experts recommend you need to check your doctor's creditations as well as the facility to make sure it's equipped to handle specific medical situations. You should ask for their medical license number and their Mexican Association of Plastic, Aesthetic and Reconstructive Surgery Certification. In Mexico, the AMCPER is similar to the American Board of Plastic Surgery. Medical tourism in Baja generates close to $2 billion in revenue, and the number of patients traveling south of the border has tripled from 800,000 to nearly 2.5 million. We're going to have the websites where you can check out the doctor's certifications as well as the facility on our website. That's KUSI.com. Ginger Jeffries, KUSI News.